Yo, what is going on guys? Matthew Haynes here. So I know it's been a couple of days since you guys received a video from me and that's just because I've been spending a lot of time watching a lot of films that I haven't got the chance to see this year and just compiling this list on my top 10 best films of 2016. So just as a disclaimer, this top 10 list is 100% opinion based. Everything I say here is just my opinion off of the movies I've seen this year. I've seen about 20 to 23 different films this year. So don't get mad at me by anything I say in this list. Everything I say, and I repeat it again, is 100% opinion based. Now I spent a lot of time working on this. This was a very, very, some of the movies on this list was a very hard decision for me to make, but I decided to make it a little easier. So let me explain to you how this will work. So out of the 23 films, that I've seen this year, I all judged them on a score basis. So I came up with about five different categories, some of them having different subcategories, and I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see, but some of the categories are story, which is 10 points, pace, which is another 10 points, visuals and cinematography is about 20 points, acting is 10 points, casting is 10 points, music and the soundtrack is another 20 points, and the screenplay is 20 points. Each movie will be judged on the same exact categories and the total points will determine what position in my ranking it will be. Alrighty, let's get it started guys. And coming in with a strong 79 points is Finding Dory. So the sequel to Finding Nemo, Finding Dory takes place right where we left off in Finding Nemo and Nemo is still the same age, Marlon is still there and Dory is still around. They're all living in a great, great, great environment. Everyone's peaceful until one day, Dory remembers her family and she starts having different memories of her past. So as Dory starts to get memories of her past and her childhood, she sets off on her own adventure to locate her parents, but in doing so, she gets lost. So Marlon and Nemo set off on a quest to go locate Dory, but in doing so, they meet up all sorts of old friends and all sorts of dangers on the way. So overall, it was the story, visuals, and screenplay that made Finding Dory earn a spot on my top 10 list. The story was a great story. It was a phenomenal story. It wasn't anything too different because the patterns were pretty much the same patterns in Finding Nemo. But the difference is, is that we get to see everything from Dory's perspective and her life and things about her that we never even knew about her. Now, the next movie, number nine, was a very, very close one between Finding Dory coming in at 80 points. Number nine is Zootopia. So Zootopia is about a rabbit by the name of Judy Hopps who has this eager, dying passion of becoming a police officer. Ignoring all the hate and all the discouragement around her, Judy Hopps enrolls in the police academy and becomes the first rabbit, yes, the first rabbit in the entire area to become a police officer. Judy Hopps moves to the big, big, big dwelling city of Zootopia, and then soon, quickly, she learns that not everything is as pretty as it seems, and it's very hard out here. Now, without giving away any spoilers, Zootopia was such a compelling storyline. Everything from the story to the pace and the acting, music, and screenplay is what saved this movie to make it earn number nine on my top 10 list. Now, coming in with a whopping 81 points, number eight on my top 10 best films of 2016 goes to Arrival. Now, Arrival is starring Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker as the main leads in this film. Now, Arrival is about a linguist professor by the name of Louise. Now, Louise is brought in by the US military to help them establish a communication between the alien life forms that recently came down to the planet. Now, Arrival is unlike any other alien movie you have ever seen before. It's actually the complete opposite of what you expect it to be. Now, without giving any spoilers, there's not too many visuals in this movie, so that's why the story and screenplay is what actually made this movie earn number eight in my top 10. The story is nearly 100% the most important part of this film. Everything in the story grabs your attention and it causes your mind to think, and everything that happens in this movie, the way how everything was explained, it was just so phenomenal. It made me want to get up and go back and watch the movie again. Now, coming in at number seven, I just want to tell you guys, I know a lot of you guys are going to hate me for this. I know a lot of you guys are going to be so disappointed with, with my decision on this, but just a disclaimer just to let you know this movie that I'm about to tell you right now, if it were totally really up to me, I would make this movie number one because I am 100% a complete nerd and geek for these kinds of movies. But since everything was judged by category basis and I had to be fair with everything coming in with 85.5 points is Batman versus Superman she with you I thought she was with you
Now as a story's concern for this film, I will be honest with you, the story came in at a 6.5 out of 10 and that's because the story is not really the best in this film. Now you can tell by the title, the movie is Batman vs Superman at Dawn of Justice. So this movie is just a setup for Justice League, which is set to come out summer 2017. But it's the visuals and the music that saved this movie to make it earn number 7 on my list because I'm honestly a Hans Zimmer fan and anything that I enjoy, any movie that has Hans Zimmer tied to it, I, I know I'm going to enjoy but just because the music the music was very good it was very impacting it livened up the story and it helped increase the pace because sometimes there were times where the, the pace of the movie was not that great but then the music really enhanced the entire pace and the feel and the overall feel of this movie kind of gave it a nice darker tone which i sometimes like and was able to liven up certain parts but the music really helped seal everything together the visuals were awesome they were spectacular visuals to see Batman in the bat suit, which is inspired from the Dark Knight Returns comic book series, to see Batman in that suit and that whole fight with Doomsday and Wonder Woman and everything, the visuals were spectacular and honestly really helped save this film. Now coming in with a whopping 86 points, number 6 goes to Deadpool. Now Deadpool is about a former special forces agent and by the name of Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson is now a full time mercenary and does anything he wants, it kills anyone he wants, does whatever he needs to do just for the money. Impressed by his abilities, Wade Wilson is brought into the Weapon X program where he's completely transformed and nearly dies, nearly dies and then he becomes Deadpool. Now that was just a brief summary of the movie, but the movie, the story, the pace, the visuals, the acting and the screenplay is definitely what made this movie earn number 6 on my top 10. Ryan Reynolds does a great job and was definitely 100% born to play the role of Deadpool. This movie was incredibly funny, tons of funny jokes. It felt as though, I mean, I would never read too much personally all the comic books of Deadpool, but watching this movie and playing some of the games Marvel vs. Capcom, I had an understanding of this character. The screenplay was ridiculously hilarious. Coming in at number 5 with a whopping 93 points goes to <laughs> Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Jim, whatever I do, I do it to protect you. So you understand? I understand. Now, Rogue One, a Star Wars story is about a girl by the name of Jin Erso, who's played by Felicity Jones. Jin Erso is brought in by the Rebel Alliance to help locate her father, Galen Erso, who is responsible for the design of the Death Star. If you guys are new to my channel and you have not seen my Rogue One, a Star Wars story movie review, please make sure you go and check it out. I'll have the link to that video in the description box below. But what made this movie earn number five? Now, this, this compile, like I said, compiling this list was very, very hard. It was a lot of great movies and it was it's very hard to find too many bad things about this movie. So what made this movie shine was the story. The story was 100% all key. The story was great. It fits in right between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. The pacing of this film was also pretty good as well. The visuals were 100% spectacular. Everything was brought up to a different level. And not just I'm not just talking about special effects only. I'm talking about how everything was shot as well. Music also came in with 20 points out of a 20 because Michael G. Kino, who also did Zootopia, who also did a lot of other movies, Doctor Strange, all of those movies were the music he did a great job and it helped really enhance his film. The music had lots of twists and variations on the original soundtrack from John Williams. Now only beating Rogue One by half of a point, 93.5 points goes to Doctor Strange coming in at number 4. Stephen Strange is a brilliant doctor but suffers from a high case of arrogance. Destined to always be the best surgeon, Stephen Strange is driving and ends up in a car accident. A car accident results in him having nerve damage, no longer being able to use his hands for work. On a quest to find healing and to be able to regain his strength, Stephen Strange goes on a mission to Karmataj, the legend of Karmataj, to help him find peace and solidarity and religion and faith and healing, well not really all that, he just 
wants to get his hands fixed Even, but as dr strange makes his way to his location he ends up doing and becoming something else other than what he planned now in this movie it is the visuals hands down the visuals that takes the cake in this one that makes it earn number four in my top 10 with a 20 out of 20 on visuals the music also had 19 out of 20 and the screenplay 18.5 out of 20 now this movie was hands down one of my favorite movies of the year and in a perfect world this top 10 list was just based off of how i felt about movies and what my personal preferences this movie would be number either number two or number one to be honest with you guys but like i said i tried to judge every single movie i had on this list by the the same exact categories in the same exact way and be 100 fair and non-biased in my decisions and the reason i'm saying that which brings me to number three number three and i am satisfied with my decision but coming in at number three with 96 points is magnificent seven dan you dead pity i had just ordered a drink from that man rose creek a town under control by a dirty businessman bartholomew bogue comes in and destroys the city and threatens them with many different threats until someone decides enough is enough and decides to hire sam chisholm played by denzel washington to come and help liberate the town sam chisholm decides to rally up a mini army starring chris pratt ethan hawk lee and young manuel garcia and vincent diaforno to help make up the magnificent seven now yeah 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 I know some of you guys are probably like, how on earth did this movie get over Doctor Strange? How does this movie score over Doctor Strange? Well, here is what happened. Now, in sitting down and analyzing this movie, and I thought very, very hard about this, I realized that the story was actually one of the best parts of this movie. The story was absolutely great. Pacing in this movie was also very great as well. Nothing was lackey, nothing was here or there, nothing was all over the place. Everything was seamless. The editing was seamless. The music was very fitting to the scene and the entire atmosphere of this movie. And hands down, the screenplay and the dialogue was some of the funniest things you'll see on screen, especially having Chris Pratt on the set, you're, you're bound to have a good laugh. Now, coming in at number two. Number two with 97 points. Goes to Captain America, Civil War. But he's my friend. So was I. With the choice of either operating and having accountability for every damage that was done by the Avengers, feeling completely sorry for himself and 100% accountable and guilty about all the actions that the Avengers done, Tony Stark, played by Robert Downey Jr., decides that the Avengers needs to come under this one act to be working for the United States government. On the other hand, Captain America, played by Chris Evans, decides that he does not want to go ahead with that and prefers to have his own free will and to be able to make decisions and to operate on their own as they need to. This causes an ongoing split and beef between the Avengers, Tony Stark trying to convince Captain America that they need to do this and Captain America trying to convince Tony Stark that they do not need to do this and they both keep clashing heads and eventually end up in a civil war now if only the music was great in this film this movie would have been tying with my number one at 100 the story for captain america civil war was great it was honestly awesome i had a few nitpicky issues but that they were just completely nitpicky i read the original civil war storyline and i preferred the original storyline opposed to the movie but as a film i understood why they had to do certain things and the reasons why they allowed certain things to happen so the story came in at a 10 out of 10 the pace was great as well there was the movie hit you with action from the beginning there was not any really slow moments in this film it wasn't anything too slow and it was just great visuals were hands down spectacular coming in at 20 out of 20 and that's because marvel and disney do all do a great job with their films as we have seen with Doctor Strange this year and with all the countless numerous films that Disney and Marvel has released this year alone. The moment we have all been waiting for. The number one movie of 2016 coming in for the best film of this year goes to none other than Moana. It's a movie about a young Polynesian girl who always feels this close connection to the ocean. She believes in the legend of demigods and the heart of Taifiti and all these other things and sets out on a journey to go find and locate the heart of Taifiti 
to bring order back into the islands and to have life and everything be back in full sustainability. Now, this movie had a fantastic cast. Dwayne Johnson plays Maui. Now, I know some of you guys are probably wondering how on earth Moana is number one above Doctor Strange, Rogue One, and all those other movies. Well, like I said, I judged every single movie on the same exact categories because all of those categories can be applied to every single film. And looking at the story from Moana, now the story from Moana is not too different from all the other storylines, but it is a unique storyline. It's very authentic and it gave you a different change, a different feel of, you know, Disney movies in general. Another thing that put this movie, made this movie hit number one on my list was the visuals, which came in at 20 out of 20. Now, if you guys have seen the visuals, Moana, the visuals are spectacular. Looking at everything at the water, all the details in the water, all the details, even the hair. I was actually very intrigued by the hair. I love the hair a lot. And so looking at this, this stuff was very, very spectacular. Great job. Another thing that took away the movie was 20 out of 20. You got the music. The music was absolutely beautiful in this movie the music was absolutely beautiful it wasn't too many sing-songy moments like a lot of past disney films but when they do sing it it's, it's appropriate and it's very catchy songs so there you guys have it that is my top 10 best films of 2016 like i said if you guys enjoyed my list and you agree with my list please like if you did not agree with my list let me know in the comment section down below what movie you believe should have been number one this year and if you guys want to see my top 10 worst films of the year please make sure to like and leave your comments down below please do not forget to subscribe and quick special thanks to kubo and melody soul for allowing me to use this track in this video that you guys have been hearing i reached out to them and they allowed me to use the track so i really appreciate that so guys go over there and check them out i the link to this track for itunes and bandcamp and soundcloud will be in the description box below make sure you guys go over there and purchase it and show them some love all right ladies and gentlemen without further ado guys thank you so much for clicking on to this video i really appreciate it so until the next video clogmaster out Arr!